So uh, the topic is uh, should parents force their children to learn and speak English at an early age? So there is always a reason behind anything that happens in this world. So the reason behind parents uh, forcing their children, I would not say forcing, it was it is like uh, parents want their child to be at the top of his career. They want that he should learn as quickly as the other children do because this is a modern world of community uh, of uh, competition. They don't want their uh, children to be lying away in life. They want that they should cope uh, with the daily situations of life. You know, a child's brain is like very fast developing more than adults. It is like when you give something to a child, he does not know that it is a difficult task to do. Until a person, an adult is uh, suggesting him that it is a difficult task. So you mean to say that uh, the person who knows it uh, will be having a bright future. On the other hand, if uh, someone is knowing it, uh, if someone don't know it and he will be sticking to it, him, so he will not have a See, I just kind of on my statement. It is normally C. We is saying there are in the end. It is basically a person, say from, for example, Garbal, is come here to study and he has done his schooling in Hindi medium. He faces a lot of problems. I have seen, I have friends myself, I have seen them personally. They become shy. Even they can learn in later stages also, like you have given the example. Like you are giving an example, like uh, um, Imran Singh has become successful without, without the English language. English is not a necessity for them. My your statements are really, you know, your I am sorry to say, but your statements are really contradicting the diversity mm -hmm. of the Indian culture. Because according to you, a guy born in Punjab, Kerala, they, they should be taught their religion language, they should be taught English language, and they are too forcefully. So, if this happens, so Indian diversity will be in danger. Because the whole India will be learning English, and what will happen to is the languages. And as you talk about bilingual, so I don't think that in India there is anybody bilingual. In North India, I don't know three languages Hindi, English, and their mother tongue. In Dukhi, also three languages. Uttarakhand, also three languages. Gadwali, Kumangu, Jonsari. So every state in North India, people know three languages. So if you talk about that, you're learning more languages, uh, improves our mind. To North India, already know three languages. So I don't think uh, there's any need for learning. Uh, and as you talk about English also, English is taught in school also, college also, every time. And, and as you talk about, we are coming here, many, somebody has said that why we came here. So if you are saying that you came here to learn English so you, and you don't take teaching of Hindi, it means you are good in Hindi. But actually you are not, because you would be good in English, you won't be putting English after 10 standard. It means you don't know Hindi also, not English also. So what language do you know, let me know. If you talk just about India, the historian says India is not a country, India is kind of continent. We can just say India is kind of continent with many languages. If you talk about North India and South India, they both the languages are bit, you know, uh, they are upside down. Like so we need a language so we can just communicate to the whole India. We are talking about a very narrow point of view of the of the language. And now we are shifting from very admiration adaptive. Nobody is saying that one shouldn't know the English language when they are adults, like maybe 10 years, 10 years. We have no one, no one is, you know, of that, of that argument. We are say, uh, talking about only early age, like maybe between 0 to 5 years, 0 to maybe 8 years. We are talking about that age. And what about the accessibility and equality in the country, whose population is 1.3 billion? How many English you know, schools do you have? Like with ICC board or maybe who, the school set up by Christian missionaries. How many schools? Maybe 100, 200. But what about the other schools like Hindi medium schools, like maybe CBSE schools where the language is not much focused? Like maybe when I was in you know, 11 12, there was no grammar. They you know completely eradicated those things. So we are talking about the whole of India. We are not talking about you know the privileged people like we are, like we are living in the city. What about the urban people? We are what about the rural people where there is no infrastructure? We should talk first talk about the infrastructure. Like many of us, you know, maybe lived in the, the Garhwal region. What about there was no teacher available? There was no, you know. No infrastructure there, no, you know, there, you know, one of my friends was there, so he told me that there was not a mathematics teacher, there was not a physics teacher, only one teacher and he taught everything. So, we, in, we are talking about the English language in the country where we are, you know, there is no availability of other teachers also. So, it's a very narrow view of, and we should not focus that English should be the parameter of anyone's language or anyone's intellect. Say a person who is coming from a, a village or a person who is living in the city, everybody wants their child 
to learn english they want their child to go in english medium schools they want that they should take english uh, studies we are we are saying that english should be taught but our motto is we should not be forced and you and you yourself said every parents want so let me get a book every day that they don't want and force wanting means that they want it should happen and force is mean that they are forcing that you should have to do this so they are too, that's why i am saying that they are definitely forcing and wanting and as you also talk about a lot of languages as in as you also said that beyond gangra it is in dialect changes so um, that i want to support this also this is they are important but my concern is that the diversity of languages in india has they should not die i don't know which india you all are imagining that everybody should learn english you are not a bosoder you are not 40 or 2100 you are not in that so no, we are heading towards 2020 yes we are heading by the But the practical is that in today's India also everybody do know Hindi. Yes, we are second most English spoken country. But still, if you just go out of Gujarat or in in rural area or Uttarakhand or Delhi, people do know English. If you go by tracking, if you go something, do know Hindi. How will you ask for a coaching and a coffee? Or if you go to Chennai, do you know English? How will you communicate with those people? How will you what will you do in tribal area? You go to Ladakh, they don't know English, so they are proudly speaking the Bengali language. So how will you do with this? The design, as he said, that from people from Kerala, how many communities are there? Communities in India, Indian embassy communities in Spain also, and in Portuguese also, they don't have any problem with this. I want to say that at the early age, children don't know what is good for them and not good for them. So children think that their parents force them, but they not force. They know the future. They they want to uh, save their future and want them to learn the that language that helpful for them in future. So. English is a language which really helpful them for in future. So that's why parents force their for their children to learn English at the early age or speak in early age. The age of learning never ends. If you see, there are lots of contents available on YouTube as well as in Google, but they all are in English. Uh, if you want to learn something, which uh, if you want to start learn something in English, but we don't know how uh, the language, we don't know proper uh, English, then how will we uh, you know, get access? To speak to them directly. Speak to them. How will you get access to that knowledge and whatever the content available on YouTube? But if we know that the uh, how the English language, uh, if we know that English very very well, then we can get access to all the content available on YouTube and uh, Google. This is our own point. Nowadays, everything is available in English only, right? But but we can make most of the content which is also available in English as well. So, so, so on the other hand, we have Hindi too, right? It's not the point that uh, someone who knows English only he can have access to it. As he mentioned, we are not into 2044 right now. But India, as you may be knowing, it is, it is a developing country. So it will be easy easier if you learn English at an early age than learning English. Uh, example of Yuvraj Singh. Uh, if he would have learned English at an early age. it would have been easier for him to speak later on in the interviews not saying that uh uh, uh uh india played well and this all like pakistanis most of the pakistani players they not speak english but my i am saying that at early age child should know its region and its its home language as i said english is not only there if you join school he will get the english only from college or from school or from any other profession that english is everywhere but my hope is any settled early age if you start learning english then how will it really become like how many communicate with those 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 common man people